summer solstice a little bit earlier this afternoon at 3.50 p.m. We've had a few rain showers today. San Angelo has picked up seven one hundredths of an inch of rainfall officially. And a few rain showers will continue into the night tonight. But we also have some high pressure that will return, and that's going to bring back the heat, which you will see in the forecast in the seven-day outlook in a few minutes. Here is a look at Texas right now, and a big chunk of the Lone Star State still getting rainfall, still covered in clouds, and some of that is right here into the Concho Valley. In fact, we have this line of showers from about Brady to almost into Menard. It's kind of west of Junction now, but you folks in El Dorado and Sonora, this rain area coming your way from the east, nothing severe about it. It's just rain, maybe a little lightning strike or two, but uh, you can see the entire area is covered by clouds this afternoon. That's helped hold down the temperatures as well. We've only got to 88 in San Angelo officially. Brady getting some light shower activity. That heavier rain about to move into Menard or the area between Menard and Junction, southern Menard County, northern Kimball getting good dose of rain and back into uh, eastern part of Sutton County too. So good to see the rain and there's even a little teeny tiny shower if you really squint and look hard up here in northern Reagan County, a uh, little shower right there. Most of the rain south of us, hill country, south Texas, and it continues moving to the west, what's left of Alberto remnants. And not as much rain out in the Rio Dosa area today. There's been some spotty showers, but uh, for the most part, things are uh, not quite as rainy today as they were yesterday in the mountains of New Mexico. Drought monitor came out today. About half the Lone Star State is out of drought, but here in the Concho Valley, we still have uh, San Angelo West and South that's in the abnormal to moderate drought stage. Eastern counties out of the drought temporarily. It looks pretty much the same as it did last week at this time. Here are your current temperatures. We're showing a range from the low 80s to the upper 80s across the region. A San Angelo 90 degree has just arrived on the temperature map. And a quick look at winds across the area this afternoon. They're anywhere between 10 and 20 with some higher gust out to 25 miles per hour. Texas temperatures rain cooled uh, south and West Texas, there's your cooler air. It's hotter in East Texas back into the 90s today. Futurecast is going to show these showers continue working their way to the West. Tomorrow morning we'll have some partial clearing. Tomorrow afternoon I wouldn't be surprised to see a little shower pop up, but uh, things are going to be largely drying out as we go into the weekend. Tonight a 20% chance of rain, a low near 70 degrees, and tomorrow 92, partly cloudy. A shower will be possible in the afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. Here comes the heat Saturday 96 and then 100 to 102 all the way through the end of next week.